Hi guys, welcome to my newest video. As you could probably tell by the title, I changed up my planner system a little bit. I did it because I just wanted an A5 bullet journal. I've been really happy with my A6 one. It's very practical, it's very easy to carry around and I was very happy with it. I also was very happy with my system, with my traveler's notebook and all the inserts I had. But I really wanted to just try a bigger bullet journal to be able to do to do different spreads, some bigger spreads and just be a little bit more creative. So I decided to get an A5 bullet journal. Getting an A5 bullet journal gave me, gave me some other problems I had to overcome, some other things I had to think about because as an A5 it's already quite unpractical for me to carry around so I didn't really want to put it in another traveler's notebook. So what to do with my inserts? Just to remind you, I had three inserts besides my bullet journal. One was my collections insert, since I only had collections that were that changed a lot in my bullet journal and collections that I would redraw or rewrite in every bullet journal. I just kept them in my collections insert. I also had a bookish insert for all my book information. And then I had a filming insert or a video insert for all my video, YouTube and blog related stuff. I also had a little um, blank notebook in it just for notes, but that's not really something that's important. So I thought what to do with it. The first thing I decided was to put my all my collections back into my bullet journal because a lot of the collections, while I thought they were pretty um, not changing, for example, my cleaning schedule or my master grocery list, they are actually, they do change. So while they are pretty much the same as they used to be, sometimes I just change a little thing. And then maybe after a couple of months, I decide to do things a little differently after all. So it actually makes sense to rewrite them every three to six months whenever I get a new bullet journal because there are little things that change. So those collections are back in here. There were a few collections that truly do not change and I do not, that I do not need as often. So I did not want to put them in my bullet journal because, for example, I had one spread that was all the information I needed um, for my tax returns. So I only need them once a year and it doesn't change. Like the, It's always the same stuff you need. Maybe I'll add some stuff at some point because I get a different job and have different things I need to include in my tax return. But... In the end it doesn't change much so i thought what to do with this and that one for example i um, wrote down on a, like on a sheet of paper and put in with all my documents and stuff so i don't really need it in my bullet journal because it's also not something i will do on the go or whatever and the other thing was my packing list because my packing list doesn't change and i don't need it all the time i just need it like once or twice a year so rewriting it in every bullet journal is not only quite a chore but also quite a space quite a waste of space because if i don't need it in the month or in the time the bullet journal is in use like why would i spend two or even four pages on a, on a collection i don't actually need so i was really thinking hard about this and to be honest i have not found a solution so my packing list is the only thing for my collections insert that doesn't have a place yet most of my collections are in here, some of my collections are other places where they're more useful, but my packing list, I do not have a space for that one yet. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. And then for my bookish and my video inserts, I combined them and put them in here. I will post a flip through about of this book like next week or the week after, I'm not sure yet. And this is now my bookish bullet journal. And I have in here all the information on the books I read, all my video information, my stats tracker and everything is in here. As I said, I will show you this next week or the week after. So with those two books, everything I had in my traveler's notebook is taken care of. So maybe you now wonder what is this book for? Well, thing is, I don't journal much and if I did, I would journal in my bullet journal. But some things they're just not for public consumption. So I don't want them to be viewed in a video. I don't want them to be seen in a picture. And I don't want 
my friend or my colleague who just happens to open my bullet journal to see those things. I decided to just get this one and have all my journaling that's more private in here. As I said, it isn't much, but a little bit, so I'll have everything in here. And I still write like a line or whatever in here whenever I feel like it, if it's not something that's overly private or anything. So that's why I have these three journals and I will only carry around this one. The other two will stay at home where I can update them whenever I feel like. So let's get into my bullet journal. So the first thing in here is my index. As you can see, there isn't a lot in here yet. And I do, and I will continue to not write down my weeks or my days. So I won't even use all of this page probably. I will only write down my month as well as my collections. The first thing again is my key. I wrote the key with my Tombow brush pen and this I wrote with my Uniball pen. This is a, also a change. I bought this quite a while ago because a YouTuber recommended it but I didn't really like it. So I just went back to my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen but when I um, set up this one as well as my bookish journal I just wanted to try something else and I tried this one and I really really like it and it's like a third of the price of the Faber-Castell one, so I'm really happy with this one. Then we have my future log. My future log is the same system as it used to be before. I just have the month here and then I write down names, uh, birthdays, anniversary and the like. And if I have appointments, I just write them in a box, which has the page number of the page where the details of this, in, of this appointment task or whatever is. So it's kind of a calendar system. For this spread, I used the Tombow brush pen in the color 623. And here I have my habit tracker for habits or for things, for tasks. I do not do multiple times a month. I only do like once a month or even less often like cleaning my windows. And for this little spread, I used the Tombow brush pen in the color 673. Then here we have my next two spreads. The first one is my perfect day or my ideal day. I split it into two. Here I have when I'm off of work and here when I'm working. So there isn't a lot here because I don't have many tasks. And for example, on my off day, I put all my tasks just in this task space. So I didn't write down all the different things I might have to do, but just like this spot for my tasks. This is more important for me to write down my morning routine, my evening routine and all of those things. But I really like the spread. I think it turned out really well. And I used the Tombow brush pen in the color 192 for this one. Here we have my cleaning schedule as well as my master task list. My master task list is pretty small because I don't have that many master tasks. So yeah, here you go. As for my cleaning schedule, I have my rooms here. I have weekly and monthly. And down here I wrote down things I do um, regularly so maybe every day or every other day and here I have stuff that I'm not doing regularly or I'm doing less often like every couple of months or something and as I said before it's something like cleaning my windows or cleaning out my um, fridge stuff like that and for this spread I used the color 243 this is my last spread before we get into the month. And here I have my master grocery list as well as my master meals. So here I write down um, our favorite meals. So if I'm not really, if I don't really wanna go through all my recipes and think of something new to cook, I just can check back here and see all of our, our favorite meals. And I haven't wrote anything down there yet. So I get to that at some point. For um, this color, uh, I use the color 062 and I'm really happy it's like that bright and vibrant. I wrote this one last night and I was hardly able to like see the yellow so I was really worried but now in daylight it looks really good so I'm really happy about this one. And then here I have the color 873 and it's my movies to watch or movies I've watched. So I wrote down those three movies which I actually saw in the movie theater and in my old bullet journal I had boxes next to it with the page of the day where I went to see the movie because I wrote down some more information and how I liked the movie and everything but since all of those three are in my last bullet journal I didn't write them down again but if I go to another movie I'll just write the page number next to it so I can go to this page and 
see if I liked the movie or what I liked about the movie and stuff like that. I also write down movies I want to see that aren't out yet and stuff like that. And the first thing I wrote down is the Queen of Shadows TV show. I'm not even sure if this will be available this year, but I still wanted to write it down somewhere so I can just have it in the back of my head to just remember at some point there will be a Queen of Shadows TV show. And down here I have places to wander. So on Sundays I usually go like wander with my parents we go on a little hike or whatever and lately i've been remembering a lot of places we went to when i was younger and i just want to remember them and see if we can go there again because as i said we often do this on sundays also on sundays i usually go running with my grandpa which sounds weird but believe me my grandpa is a lot more better at running than i am so i go running with him and sometimes my siblings join us and he often asks like where should we go and then we're all like i don't know let's just go to the place we usually go and then it's pretty boring so i just want to remember all those places we used to go hiking or whatever when we were younger and just write them down because where i live there is a lot of nice places you can go hike or run or whatever and i just want to write them down and so we go running with my grandpa and hiking with my parents at pretty much the same places so when we go running we don't go running like on the street or something we usually go in a forest so i can just combine this or maybe i write down i really want to go to the zoo again so i just write it down here as well it's a little different than like which forests I want to go to, but still this is just my catch-all place for places I want to go to when we don't have anything better to do on Sundays. And I'm really hoping to get my husband to join on any of those hikes or visits or whatever because he doesn't usually join us. But yeah, I'll add some things to this later on. And then here we have my month of April. And for April my color is just 673. And... I used to use just a like regular um, vertical system where I just wrote down all the days of the month and then wrote down next to it what happened on this day, like my work schedule and other important things. And I really like this, but with the big um, bullet journal, the larger one, it's just, it would be really empty because I don't have to do a lot. Mainly it's just my work schedule and maybe I have here like the little pictogram where the trash um, people come and get our trash so I wrote that, this one down as here as well so there wouldn't be much to write down so I decided to try something new so it doesn't look as empty and I use this regular calendar system and as with my year I'll just write down um, my work schedule and if there's an event or anything I just write down the page number of the page where I wrote more, down more information about this event or whatever it is. Then here we have my habit tracker, the same as it used to be, except it's written down neatly and not folded up or whatever. So I'm really, really happy with this one. It's very easy now to use it. I don't have to unfold it every time and I'm really, really happy with this one. And the next spread you also know from my small bullet journal. It's my videos that I've planned to film this month or post this month. I have um, a section for if I uploaded it, if I edited it if i filmed it and for my corresponding blog post so that's all there is here we again have my tbr i plan to read six books this month and listen to one audiobook and that's all here and my to do's for the month so that's pretty much it and i was thinking a lot about what to do with this page because i wanted to have like two two page spreads i didn't want to start with my week right here i just wanted to have like those two spreads so I decided to put my meal plan here. My meal plan I had sometimes in my week, sometimes I didn't have one at all. So I decided to just put it here. As you can see, I didn't fill it out. I don't plan my weeks, um, my meals ahead a few weeks or even a month. That's just not something I do. But I do plan from when I go grocery shopping to when I go grocery shop shopping. So this usually means from a Thursday to Thursday. And so I can write down all the... Um, meals I plan to do in those in this in those few days and it's also easier for me now that I have it in a month because I don't have to write a couple of days down in my current weekly spread and the others I have to write down on a random piece of paper until I set up my next weekly spread so here I just have everything and that's I'm really happy with that 
So here's the last page I have to show you today and it is my weekly spread. So the weekly spread is pretty much the same as it used to be in my A6 bullet journal, just um, horizontal instead of vertical. I have the videos I plan on uploading this week. I have my week with my work schedule and some tasks I already know I want to do on a specific day as well as my to-do section. And down here I'll just start my days. And that's pretty much it. On the top here I have Saturday and Sunday. They used to be in my old bullet journal because I do weeks and so I decided to just keep the first two days of the month in my old bullet journal because it was just easier but then I really wanted to start using this bullet journal and so I added those two days up here and that's pretty much it. I hope you liked it. If you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any ideas what I could add to my bullet journal, if you have any question about what I did with this bullet journal or just anything at all. So, and that's it. Bye.